You're listening to musician, author, and educator Bobby Borg, breaking down music, business, and marketing basics so they stick. Hey everybody, my name is Bobby Boring and welcome to USC's DIY Podcast Studio. And the topic for my discussion today is Mother Knows Best. Diet, fitness, spirituality, culture and the arts, humanity, and gratefulness. And for those of you guys that don't know me, I'm a former major label independent and DIY recording and touring artist, the author of a number of music, business, and marketing books and then adjunct professor too. So hey you guys, a lot of us read tons of books in hopes of improving ourselves and bettering our lives. But sometimes the most important information is right at home, in our mother's words. So this brings us to the topic of our discussion today and to several main points. So let's get to them. Point number one, diet. (laughs) While this might sound very simple and very funny, diet is extremely important. And my mother used to always say literally every day, eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables. She still says that to this very day. Eat your vegetables, eat fruits, right? And again, this is, is such a basic concept, but think about this, you guys, right? We get so caught up in all our work, but that sometimes we forget about our health. And there is nothing more important in life than health. And you specifically um, really come to this uh, later on in your, in your life. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. So remember to eat your fruits and vegetables, you guys. All right, this brings us to number two now, fitness. You know, this is great. I mean, I'm really, really into into physical fitness. I exercise every day, but you know, my mother has a lot to do with this. At a very, very young age, she had us taking swimming lessons. I mean, I think I was a certified lifeguard at the age of 11. She always had us going to uh, fitness classes, to the gym, taking uh, swim lessons. And I think in part, this could have been um, due to an accident that she had young in her life where she actually drowned um, and was brought back to life by some of the construction workers that were, that were nearby and saw her uh, floating in, in the water. Pretty, pretty crazy and scary thing. But in any case, fitness again ties in with our first point about health. Without your health, you guys have nothing. So be sure to make time in your day to exercise, okay? This moves on to number three, spirituality and inner peace. You know, uh, this isn't for everybody, but certainly in my family, my mother always advocated for us going to church. I mean, even to this day, she still tells me, did you go to church? You know, Um, so praying was a very, very big part in our life, um, you know, and uh, uh, very, very important to to think about, you know, yourself having being physically fit, being spiritually fit, it, it all ties in together. So remember you guys, if this is for you, remember to go to church. <laughs> Moving on to number four, culture and arts. You know, my mother um, always uh, advocates for taking advantage of your community, taking advantage of the culture, you know, going to museums, going to the local theaters, you know, going to community events. She always um, uh, advocated for this. And this is very, very important, obviously, because this brings culture to, to your life. This brings more meaning to your life. So remember to uh, appreciate the arts, appreciate the culture around you, appreciate your community, and take advantage of the things that are available to you, okay? All right, excellent, take that advice. Let's move on to number five, humanity. Be kind to others. Be good and have compassion for others. This is extremely very important. Unfortunately, there isn't more of this in the world. But thankfully, um, I um, have a mother that reminds me that being a good human being is extremely important. You know, to do good things in the world, to be kind, to be gentle to other people, um, to have compassion, you know. Um, you know, and unfortunately, this world is filled with lots of snakes that just want to take advantage of you, that want to rip you off. 
um, you know, for what? So they can have a big house and a couple cars. It's absolutely insane. Um, you know, you have to be able to sleep at night. You have to be able to, at your end of your life, really feel that you can co contributed something to mankind. And thankfully, I had a mother that always reminded us about this. So humanity. So have humanity. And then finally, let's talk about gratefulness. Um, thankfully, I had a mother that always has talked about gratefulness, and she still does to this day. Be grateful just for the fact that you're healthy. Be grateful just the fact that you have a roof over your head, that you are at peace. You know, it, you know go outside. You know, look at the sun. Look at the clouds. Look at the leaves, you know, blowing in the wind. I mean, this is what's called self-awareness. This is about now, about appreciating your life now and not being worried about the past, not being worried about the future, not being bogged down, just being grateful for what you have. This is extremely important. And in fact, it's a really great exercise to write down daily why you should be grateful in life. It reminds you of what you have because a lot of times, you guys, we forget, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, tips. Mother knows best. I'm sure that you guys have a bunch of your own. But what we talked about is we talked about diet, fitness, spirituality, culture and the arts, humanity, and gratefulness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. So hey everybody, my name is Bobby Borg and I'm just trying to break down music business and marketing basics so that they stick. Please be sure to check out other clips and please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe, etc. And please be sure to check out my books, Music Marketing for the DIY Musician and Business Basics for Musicians, now in their second revision. And hey, if you could, in the comment section, leave something that your mother tells you or has told you on a daily basis that really has affected your lives. Okay, you guys, so as I always say at the end of this podcast, peace and thank you very much for watching.